Hello, everybody. I hope everybody's having a good night tonight. It's kind of late. And I normally don't do this, but I'm only doing this because Tracy Ann said something about the Eight Shires Distillery liquor bottles <laughs> that I had taken pictures of. So, because it's Tracy and I love you, I'm going to try a shot of each of these just to see which one I would recommend for you. So I have all the shot glasses. This one is, let me see, Warriors. Help me out. I don't know. Oh my goodness, Yvonne. This is straight bourbon, y'all. And just to let you know, the distillery, as far as what they make um, at Williamsburg Distillery, they make it just like it was back in the 1600s. So y'all should go and visit it sometime. John Stevens, you're not seeing me do any of this. <laughs> we should save it for the pink pearl at the cabin on 360. I was, I was hoping Tracy would come on because Tracy Ann saw these eight shard distillery bottles and said that it's a must have for her. So I'm trying them for her to see what she thinks. Or which ones I would recommend for her. Okay, that one. Ooh, ooh. Well, that's a kick-ass one right there. <laughs> it's my fave. Ooh, girl. This, this, this one right here. It's my fave. This one will knock you on your tail. Oh, that's a good one. Chella, I know you're watching it. Yeah, Don't worry. Yeah. I'm doing this. I'm doing this for Tracy Ann. It's not for myself. She's look. lying. She's lying to all y'all. <laughs> I'm lying to all y'all. Okay, this one, Thorpe's original. That's smooth. Just adds. This first one was. This first one was smooth. This is Thorpe's original from Eight Shires Distillery. You ain't seeing this, Jennifer. I told. <laughs> you can go to Eight Shires Distillery and get some. I got them all. I'm just testing them. Oh, I'm sorry. He said he can't read backwards. Okay. This one is um, Thorpe's original. The first one was a bourbon. This one was a bourbon whiskey. Aged. It's, it's aged, too. Aged. Aged. Got that? Thorpe's is not aged. Look at the pretty bottles. I mean, Are they you just. Live on Facebook? I am. How come I can't find you? Okay. Okay. It smells. It smells pretty strong. It smells pretty strong. I can actually watch her be watching instead of going. Okay. Away. All right. This one. This one could get you in trouble because um, if you drink it after. Yeah. If you drink it after a while, this one, it's gonna like. It's very smooth. Yeah, this one's a sneaky one. This one right here. This one is the Eight Shires Thorpe's Original. This one is very smooth. My friend owns Eight Shires Distillery in Williamsburg. So I'm here taste... I'm not at Eight Shires, but they have it at their home. And I'm taste testing their, their, um, their rums and liquors. That's in Williamsburg. You know, I know you know where Williamsburg is. John Stevens. Look. Okay. Don't judge. Don't judge me. Chella, Chella got off the feed, so I'm like, no, is he still? No, he's off the feed. He's probably like, what is she doing? All right, this one is, can I open this one? Yeah. This is Eight Shires Colonial Distillery, James City Gin. This one is gin. Let's take a, let's, let's give it a little taste. I'll tell you what, so far, I like the first two that I tried. I like the bourbon and the, um, the Thorpes. That's, that's pretty good, but let's taste this one. Okay, it smells like, smells like gin. Mm. No, it doesn't. It, does to it me. doesn't smell like my granddaddy's, my daddy's gin. Most gin smells like pine salt or Christmas trees. All right, let me try it anyway. Mm-hmm. It's 
<laughs> That's what I think about that comment, John Stevens. <laughs> you did not. No, no, you know what? I, Savannah, I'm just taste testing because Tracy Ann inquired about them. So far, I'm going with the bourbon. She inquired about them, and so I figured that I would like to have a taste of each one. Oops, just to see which one I would recommend. Since it's going to be leaving the state. All right, this one is the silver rum. Oh, she said, that, Yvonne said that one is really good. Y'all know I'm not a drinker, right? But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try these because Tracy wants some. Bill likes it when I drink that straight. And that smells good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that one will get you too. Oh, yeah. This one is a silent but deadly one right here. This one is the silver one. This is really good. I can't remember which one I had from your original distillery. Silver. Well, I, I know I'll never open it. I know that. That that tastes really, really good. Yeah, that's our good one. And this one is, let's see, Eight Shires Distillery. This is gin. Did I do this? It's just in a smaller bottle? Oh, okay, well... Okay, so this one, these come in smaller bottles. So you got, what does that say? We knew you were coming, so we got the big bottle too. She. <laughs> <laughs> so they make them. They make you make them in different sizes, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so they make them in different sizes, so you can either get like this gigantic, enormous size right here, or you can get this little size right here. But isn't the packaging on these really neat? It like you know. Looks like very, you know, antique and 1600s-ish styles. Isn't that cool? Do you have any more liquor that I need to be? Yeah. Okay, hold on. We have Gold more. Gold and spice crumbs. Okay. So I've tried, let's see, this one, this one, that one. And, and just to let the record reflect, y'all, I'm taking like little tiny shots just so y'all won't sit over here and think that I'm some you know, person taking these big, gigantic shots of stuff. I'm doing this for Tracy because I love her. We don't have any gold rum opened all the way in the back behind Evan. Uh -uh. Oh, yeah. Look, I got some sage on it. Pretty. I was looking for spice. Here's gold. We don't have any spice. Okay, so. We should have spice. Maybe this right here is their, oh, you know their gold is. rum. I did see it in the car, didn't I? Yeah, and we had it in the hotel last night. They, uh, their rums are really good, and but you really should go visit the distillery because don't you have like a tour? Mm -hmm. They have tours of the distillery, so you really need to go like visit it so that you could take the tour of the distillery. And Bill dresses in his knickers, and he looks really cute. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Savannah. Uh -huh. This is what happens when you have people that own distilleries. That smells good. Okay. <laughs> what is that one, the gold? That one, whew, that one will knock you on your ass, too. This is the gold rum. Mm -hmm. Let's not light a match. You should go, John. You would really, really enjoy it. This I mean, is for only 41% alcohol. What is that one? Here, I'll look. I know you where to look. look. Yeah, she knows where to look. I don't. Yeah, this is 41% alcohol. All right, so that's 41% alcohol. You're used to that 11% wine. Yeah, we're used to 11% wine. She's right. This one is the spiced rum. So, see, they make many, many different kinds. <laughs> it does not taste like Kraken. Did y'all hear that? Okay, I'm on this one. This smells really good. She gave me a larger shot than what I was having, so if this knocks me out, then I'm in trouble. Yeah, you are. It 
it's not the whole book that you had to drink all of it. <laughs> <laughs> my mommy always told me to clear my plate and drink all my liquid, so you know, here we go. That's really good too. Isn't that good? Yeah. That is this spice from is real good. Yeah. Delicious. <laughs> Not to combust. <laughs> <laughs> it depends on it really depends on your taste. I can tell you that all of them are I can tell you that they're all smooth. Like none of them go down harsh. You know, like your cheap liquors that you get someplace they, they're really harsh on your throat. <laughs> Thank you. These are not. So we have you have such a variety. Hold on. <laughs> Let me show you the variety. You have a variety of different flavors and you get to you go you can pay a certain amount I don't know how it works when you, you go to the still I mean, you can do a you tasting get your choice of one free shot y'all get hear that you get your choice of one free shot when you go through and the, then you to can the distillery. buy a flight if you want to you can buy a flight if you want to Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, I, I don't think Tracy Ann's coming to the Libra, Libra party. If she was, I would have her liquor there. So you have the Spice Rum, the Gold Rum. Then you have the Thorpe's Original, James City Gin, Silver Rum. And did, then, did he, did oh, she and then that, the bourbon? yes, and then the, this is the standard first edition bourbon. And then this is their standard first edition bourbon, which this one I, I really like. This is really good. Did you taste that one? I think I did. I don't think so. Did I, did I taste that one? I with the war, war scope or did I taste the spicy something? All right, well, we'll just. because I just took this out of the can. Okay, well, I'll have to, let me taste this bourbon real quick. <laughs> let me taste that too. Taking one for the team. Taking one for the team. I'm, I'm, I'm on here, Marjorie, trying all these different different um liquors from the distillery she's She's afraid afraid from the from the eight shires distillery located out in williamsburg virginia y'all google that so you can find it and that smells good Mm -hmm. oh that's good isn't that good oh my god you mix that with something else like coke or something or ice or ice that's delicious too None of these, you know, um, in my times of drinking things like liquors, because I really don't, I really don't drink very often. We all. can tell. Yeah. Can... <laughs> <laughs> She's evil. Nice She's evil and she must be destroyed. Um, yeah, I am a very lightweight, but they don't burn your throat like right. a lot of these do. A lot of this stuff burns your throat. Okay. This does not burn your throat, I'm just saying. So, for those of you that, I mean, seriously, that like a really good um, gin, rum, anything like that, this would be your place to get it at because it doesn't, it's not harsh on your throat. You don't feel that after effect, if that makes sense, Mm -hmm. where you feel like your throat's on fire. That's not these. Um, Crown Royal, you know, most of y'all know Crown Royal goes down really smooth. All of these go down (laughs) really smooth. So just want y'all to know that. So if you go on Google and you Google eight stars distillery, you'll be able to see where it's at and you should go for a tasting. And like Yvonne said, Bill dresses up in his, his outfit and he, you know, gives tours, which my mom, myself, Hector and the kids, we've been to the distillery. So if you haven't had a chance to go, you should go. And, you know, like, taste test all these. And then they can buy bottles at the distillery, or they can go to their local ABC store and request them to get it. And that ABC store will have to get it for them. Yeah, see that? So You don't have to buy a case. You can just buy one when it comes in. Yep, you can buy you can buy one when it comes in. Isn't that cool? So that's really, really, really cool. So I just wanted to share that with y'all. Um, but these are really good. nice all right y'all i wanted to just share the gin rum and bourbon experience with you so like i said if you haven't googled um eight shires distillery you should do that and then get yourself 
I, I don't know where you know Yvonne's from. She does all kinds of stuff. She's all over the place. <laughs> busy. Yes, very busy. Very busy. Marjorie Austin. Mm hmm. Marjorie Austin. So, y'all will have to like take a trip out to the distillery. John, you should make that like a um, like a field trip. You should make that like a field trip and go out to the distillery one day. You know, road trip. It's really it's really located in a really easy spot to find. You can't miss it. So anyway, like I said, I just wanted to share it with y'all, um, and I appreciate you taking your time. I'm gonna cut it short and look. This. This was, um, they bought this for me back. This was off of a, um, it was hand wrapped by, I can't remember what tribe, but anyway, it's sage. And I'll tell you what, you can tell the difference between something that is like homegrown and, and you know, how they bind it compared to what you actually get, um, you know, when you go to the store, when you go online and buy something, it's totally different. It has a totally different burn, too. So that's really cool. So anyway, y'all, have a great night. Good night, Marjorie. Thanks for tuning in. Remember, 8 Shires Distillery. John, if you want to take a road trip, let me know. Bye.